and so completes a whole week of vlogging. Yesterday was the seventh vlog, and I have to say I'm having a lot of fun. I think it shall continue definitely until the end of the year. See how things are going from there. I mean, it's not going to change my channel overnight, but I appreciate the more family-friendly content, and uh, it's kind of easier to bring your day together and edit it and uh, make it fun for everyone to watch, and I appreciate everyone that's been watching. Jamiela, who else is here? Andrew Scroba. Uh, Jazzy Babe, uh, my uncle who, uh, happy birthday to you Uncle Chris. All, all the amazing people that have been, Todd Anderson, Pat the Sound Guy, you guys have been a wonderful uh, source of inspiration in the comments. I, I, you know, anybody, leave a comment below. Tell me what I'm doing right, tell me what I'm doing wrong. I wanted to bring up uh, kind of a confession. I'd get something off my chest if I could. Um, since I've been blogging for seven days now, I wanted to uh, bring up a really good point that a bloke by the name of Simon Cade has brought up. He's in the video behind me, and I hope that I'm in focus and he's not. Here, we'll see what he has to say about vlogging. As flawless as it looks, you know? And so, inevitably, we end up comparing our own boring, problematic, unedited lives to these people who can quite easily make their lives seem impossibly good. He brings up a really good point, and I encourage you to go watch uh, that video, I'll link it up here and in the description, DSLR Guides. I've been watching him for the better part of, uh, you know, a year now that I've been doing YouTube uh, more often, and it's usually for camera advice and SLR, you know, how to get an SLR, grade the film and stuff like that, but in this episode he brings up how Casey Neistat, I guess the shaytard to even quit vlogging, uh, and you know, BF versus GF and a few other people and, and the toll it's taken on their lives and maybe how you as the viewer perceive these vloggers as uh, they're able to edit their life. And I will admit, the last week there were definitely some really low points that of course I'm not going to film in my life. Uh, my wife would be pretty sore at me if we were in the middle of a disagreement or if the kid was crying and every time I went and grabbed the camera. And I believe that uh, when those instances arise, you don't necessarily want to see it on your end, but I'd like to be transparent and let you know that those things happen. We have uh, a child who has a hard time sleeping through the night. Uh, the second episode, or the first episode I was explaining that. Uh, and that puts a toll on me and my wife's relationship. And, uh, you know, just generally right now I'm not working and I'm taking care of him. And uh, there's a lot of pressure on me to take care of him, you know, constantly. And uh, basically I'm his only friend until his mom gets home. And then she's been at work all day and, she, you know, she doesn't necessarily want to just take over. And I understand that. I've been there. So I'm going to show the good parts, of course, but I'd like to be transparent and, you know, when there is a bad day, maybe I'll bring it up a little bit more often and talk about it. That way, we can have a more open, uh, you know, line of communication, and it can seem like I'm a little more human than the Casey Neistat's of the world. I'm sure that uh, Candace just hated the vlogging in like 90% of the episodes, and he was just editing all that out. All right, uh, today me and Gibson have not really uh, been doing much. I mostly just edited yesterday, and uh, he just got up from a nap, so we're gonna go and uh, check a few things out and do some things and stuff, and maybe we'll decorate the Christmas tree. I think I'm gonna bring Gibson out. We're gonna go look for a ginger, ginger man house. Ginger beard. Oh, uh, they didn't know the snow's going away. It's weird. It is weird. All right, can you see it? We'll go let the puppies in and we're gonna go look for a ginger man house, okay? Give me five. Gibson? No. Uh, <laughs> always with the nose, eh? It's missing something. I could have put him in there, but he got really scared. You don't want to sleep right here with Jesus? I know, eh? Look how creepy that guy is. He'll give you gold, myrrh, and frankincense. Well, it takes a certain caliber of person to just 
bring a camera, especially one that, you know, your phone you can get away with it pretty easy, but bring a camera into a place of business and just start filming yourself. Just you know, so you can vlog, so you can show the world. Isn't that weird? It's kind of weird, eh? You like balls, huh? Now there's the balls, huh, Gibson? It's like pallets and pallets of balls. What about the big teddy bear, eh, Gibson? Look at Big teddy bear. Big snowman. Big old thin ashtrays. What are you on, the cigarettes? Only $1.99, that's like a profit margin. I don't see gingerbread houses anywhere. Do you? No. No, I don't either. I think we'll have better success here at the Bulk Barn finding you a gingerbread man, okay? Okay. Okay. Uh, there we go. Well, Gibson, what do you think? Is this gonna work? Yeah, yeah this'll work, look. That's a house. Yeah. And we can buy all kinds of cool treats to decorate it, okay? What do you got there, choo-choo head? Did you find a choo-choo everywhere you go? No. Yeah. You don't know my code. Come on! It's not very nice out here. Everybody in the house! They're wondering in the comments why I caged the dog. In the house! Uh, they're wondering in the comments why I caged the dogs. Well, when people come to the door, they tend to bark incessantly and they get really hyper and the husky's 110 pounds. And sometimes they're just hard to control. So you have to put them in the cage until they calm down, which is almost never. And uh, sometimes you're vacuuming the house and you don't want them running around creating a muck so you put them in the cage for like five minutes. It's not meant to be a torture device. Come on now. Right, Gibson? Aye. Yeah, see, he knows. I don't feel like uh, doing a crazy montage about my cooking today, but we are going to make uh, some sort of uh, pad thai type uh, chicken noodles is what we usually call it. Ginger chicken with some lime, put some uh, teriyaki, some soy sauce, make sure you got the ginger, and some peppers, and rice vermicelli, and we make chicken noodles. You like noodles? No. Oh, you always say no. Just say yes. No. Oh. Do you like noodles? Do you like noodles? Do you, you just like chocolate. Is that chocolate milk? Chocolate goo oh. Why do we have this yeah. stuff? It's all my parents' Christmas stuff. Show me that weird potato woman. Like what is it's this? It's so dirty. I'm a potato woman. It's all like his smoke. His is like broken and his hand is broken. Yeah. Creep no. It looks good on me. Because this isn't annoying or anything. Do your clock dance! So funny. Looks great. See? <laughs> so about there? We are a Pixar family, apparently. Lots of Buzz Lightyear's and Sully Sullivan's and whatnot and have you. Hey, it's all it's bath time for Gibson because he was getting too much into all the Christmas crap. Isn't that right, sir? Eh? You think you're cute. But, you know, it's weird carrying around a camera. I just wanted to sum things up with the whole vlog scenario. It's obtrusive to hold the camera, bring it around all over the place. Even to my wife, but she's kind of used to it by now. <laughs> And, um, you know, I, I'm going to do it for the foreseeable future and see if it comes to something. It, it's hard to be interesting, too. On a day like today, I didn't have much planned. And to go and find an adventure, uh, you know, we didn't even get to do the gingerbread houses yet. But we'll do that tomorrow. You know, you do what you can in a daily vlog to make it interesting. And uh, he likes watching the vlog, so we'll just keep doing it for him. Anyways, you going to get me all wet? No. No? You going to say bye to the viewers? Okay, well, we're going to cut to the Christmas tree and how it looks now that it's all done. 
And I do thank you very much, much very much for watching. Let me know in the comments if you like my vlogs. And as always, uh, leave comments because I will shout you out and I will say hi and stuff. Will I get some water? No, no. Oh, I will. Don't even listen to him. Don't listen to him at all. All right. Cut to, cut to the Christmas tree. Uh, don't get lost or killed. Don't die. Don't fall off a cliff. And as always, thanks for watching.